It's umsum time. What if Tesla disappeared? No problem. Umsum is launching his own electric car. Oh, <laughs> umsum. To buy this sweatshirt, visit umsum.com. Firstly, if Tesla disappeared, Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla, may not remain that rich anymore. Hmm. Secondly, electric cars are considered to be better for the environment. Hmm. If Tesla disappeared, pollution levels may not come down. Hmm. Thirdly, Tesla is a world leader in the sale of electric cars. If Tesla disappeared, sale of petrol or diesel cars might skyrocket. Hmm. Fourthly, Tesla has many loyal fans world over. If Tesla disappeared, many fans may stop driving altogether. Hmm. Lastly, Tesla is a world leader in battery technology. If Tesla disappeared, our car batteries may not last that long. Hmm. What if cars huh? disappeared? No problem. I only travel using airplanes. Wow, I'm some. Firstly, if cars disappeared, people driving bicycles will be among the happiest. Secondly, public transportation will suddenly become extremely popular. Thirdly, millions of cars are sold each year, creating millions of jobs and billions of dollars. If cars disappeared, jobs and money both will be lost. Fourthly, Billions of liters of petrol and diesel is burnt by cars around the world every day. If cars disappeared, oil demand will go down drastically. Mm. Lastly, if cars disappeared, car racing championships like Formula One, NASCAR, etc. will exist only on video games. Mm. On the flip side, firstly, pollution levels will come down drastically. Mm. Secondly, if cars disappeared, people might start walking or using bicycles to get to work, in turn getting healthier. Mm. Lastly, if cars disappeared, lives will be saved as the number of fatal accidents will come down drastically. Huh? Mm. What if all cars were electric? Why only cars? Even I look electric. <laughs> oh, um some. There will be a number of advantages as electric cars are considered to be much huh? more environmentally friendly. Mm. Firstly, air pollution would greatly reduce as it is estimated that road transportation is responsible for more than 50% of nitrogen oxides and carbon monoxide emissions. Secondly, huh? our respiratory tract would be a much happier place as road transportation is responsible for more than 40% of particulate matter emissions. Thirdly, mortality rate will reduce as WHO estimates that outdoor air pollution is responsible for more than 4.2 million deaths yearly. There would be some relatively minor disadvantages though. Firstly, car ownership would get expensive as electric cars are expensive as compared to fossil fuel cars. Heavy reliance on rare earth elements as well as lithium and cobalt for battery production. Thus, we might face a different kind of environmental challenges. Mm. Topic, motion sickness. Why do huh? we get car sickness? Because some cars are haunted. Nah. Huh? According to a prevailing theory, car sickness occurs because of mismatched or conflicting sensory signals. In a moving car, our eyes see that the car seats are not moving, thus informing our brain that we are stationary. <laughs> However, the inner ear which detects motion notices the turns and bumps in the road and tells our brain that we are moving, oh. thus creating a sensory mismatch and making us car sick. But why do we vomit? During human evolution, when there were no vehicles, only the intake of foods containing neurotoxins made our brain receive conflicting signals. Now, the only way to remove these neurotoxins was to vomit. Hence, in the present time, when our brain receives such mismatched signals, oh. it thinks that there is some neurotoxin in our stomach. Thus, it induces oh. vomiting. Hmm. 